from Berlin, Germany. And oh, my chair is a little bit cricky. I trained in from Cologne, it was four hour and 30 minutes, super fast, using my German rail pass, which I told y'all before, just one pass for you to train all across Germany. It just makes things so convenient. The same company, ACP Rail, also does one train pass for you to train across Europe, which is insane. Just who won? Oh no, leave the link in the description if you guys are interested. Anyways, it feels so good to be back in Berlin. So Berlin is a city in Germany that's had so much history. It's known for its landmarks, known for its art. It's, some people may call it the hipster city, huh? Yeah, I actually got in yesterday and I found this cute little Taiwanese restaurant. What? I know, and they had authentic beef noodle soup. Apparently the owner moved here from Taiwan. It was so good. I'll leave the link in the description. I didn't vlog it. I just slurped it all down. I also went to a street food market that happens every Thursday here in Berlin. It had like Uruguayan food, Italian food, all sorts of good stuff. Also link in the description in case you come here on a Thursday in Berlin and you're wondering where to grub. People always ask like where you're staying at. I'm staying at an area called Neukun. It's basically an alternative area in Berlin, much, much better than the central area. Central is like all touristy and stuff. Here, there's a lot, a lot of Asian food. There's Vietnamese food, the Taiwanese food, there's Korean barbecue, Japanese, great coffee, uh, and just a nice indie scene going on here. So if you guys are interested, do that. The hostel I'm staying at is River Lodge Hostel. Great place, great owner. Today, we're gonna go try three very popular dishes here in Berlin. Let's do this, you guys. Let's grub, grub, grub. Always be numbing, numbing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my goodness, hold up, you guys. As I walked out, I forgot there's a Turkish market that happens here every, I think it's Tuesday and Friday. I'm not sure, definitely on Friday, so we're just gonna do a pit stop and see what's there. Turkish savory bread and pastry. Uh, it's brushed with eggs and oil on top and butter. Bye, Bihan. <laughs> Inside is filled with spinach and feta cheese, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bite. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm, oh my god. That is so good. Holy smokes. That cheese and that spinach just melt in your mouth along with the crunch of the outer layer. Mm. Oh, it's perfection. You can see the outer layer is flaky. This is made from yufka dough. Oh, you guys, look at that. The area where the spinach meets the feta cheese is really magical. Okay, I know we have so much to try today, but I seriously am about to finish this. Did that comes in my mouth? I don't know. Well, it's a good thing that we bumped into a Turkish market because the Turkish population here in Berlin is huge. And actually, one of the dishes we're gonna eat today is very much a Turkish cuisine uh, that is made popular here in Germany. Okay, now we're gonna hop on the tram. Gotta buy my train ticket. Might as well show you guys. So, I'm gonna get a day ticket here because I'm going to a lot of places. It's about seven euro for a day ticket. Be sure to validate it. Here we go. Oh, by the way, um, a single ticket is two and eighty euro. You might as well get a day ticket, right?
My head is my head is my food. Here at Currywurst 36 is one of the most popular snack bars to get currywurst here in Berlin. And check out this massive plate. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, this is the star of the dish is the bratwurst right here. <laughs> in here you can get two styles. You can get it with skin or without skin. It's a really traditional German fast food dish. Sausage, hummus, fries. Um, right here it is the special curry sauce, which is basically tomato paste with curry powder. Oh yeah, that's sweet ketchup. You can also get it a little bit spicy if you're feeling it. Curry worse is traditionally it's steamed and then it's fried. So that's why you kind of notice the outer layer is a little bit like wrinkly and crinkly. We're gonna go ahead and dig into it. So I'm grabbing a huge slab of this tomato paste. You guys, they're really not shy here with the size of the sausages. Look at this. That's a huge, huge, huge piece. Here we go. I think the star of this is, of course, the tomato paste. It's a little bit spicy. It's really sweet. It's actually a lot spicy. When you first bite into it, you might not taste it. And then you chew it some more, and it's that tingly, spicy feel in your tongue. Have you guys ever had fried tofu? Or, you know, when you're eating sushi, there's that tofu skin dish? That's kind of what it tastes like. It's a little bit crinkly. It's soft, but it has a nice chew to it. And, of course, on the side, there is fries with ketchup and mayo. That's usually the two condiments they like to put on there. So that's currywurst. What do you guys think? Okay, so it was just way too crowded and loud over there to vlog, so I want to sit down real fast and tell you guys a little bit about Currywurst. So Currywurst was invented in 1949. The German housewife traded British soldiers' spirits with ketchup. That's kind of how it was formed. Um, it's interesting because Currywurst is basically one of the most popular food here. It's meaty, it's low cost, it's fast, it's quick. But Berlin is one of the greeniest cities in the world, so this fast food contradicts with the slow food movement that's happening here in Berlin. So that's something interesting to know. I don't want you to look at this meal and be like, damn, they just eat meat and consume fast food here because they're actually very, very conscious here in Berlin. Okay, anyways, we're going to the next stop. Now, here's the thing. Right next to Curry 36 is Mustafa's Kebab, which is one of the most popular donor kebab places here in Berlin. Like, literally, they have, I think it's 2,500 reviews on TripAdvisor. But we're gonna go somewhere a little bit less crowded, but also, if not actually, just as delicious as Mustafa's. We're taking the alternative route, you know what I'm saying? More local edition, huh? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna get out of this alleyway and, like, go, go to our next one. Okay, let's go. Okay, 
places are just really difficult to vlog because there's so many people, the music's super loud, and that was one of those places. So I'm in the corner of some like residential area. If you're ever in your city and you see like a creepy Asian girl in, in the corner with a camera, it's, it's probably me. Anyways, I just wanted you guys to know that some people may see a kebab and be like, oh, isn't that like a shawarma or, or a gyro? Yes, there are some similarities, okay? They're all, all the meat for all of them comes from this giant metallic pole with a huge chunk of meat that is spinning and spinning. As the skin gets crispy, it gets shaved off. And it's just, that is the meat that you get in all three of these. Everything's a little bit different. Shawarma is wrapped. Gyro has more of like the yogurt tzatziki sauce, it's fries, it's Greek. Generally, if you find a kebab in Turkey, it doesn't have sauce in it, but here in Germany, they love putting sauce on it. So that's really the difference there. I'm just making, making sure you guys know. Dessert. That's right, I did it. Boom. Da, 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 da. All right. I'm not gonna, I can't pronounce it. It's like Fangchen, Fangchen. It's basically a donut with no central hole. It's a German pastry, and there's usually jam, marmalade, and stuff in the filling. And on top, it's either icing, as you see here, or powdered sugar. I just feel like this is the perfect way to end the video eating. You know? You know what I'm saying? Before I go, I do wanna say. I love Berlin. Originally, I was just gonna stay in Cologne and Hamburg, but I decided to kind of split up the week and then go from like, do like a massive city hop. And I'm glad I did because it reminded me of how much there is to do in Berlin. Everywhere around every corner, there's like a festival going on or a little food booth or stalls or people, or there's music. It's Wonderful, wonderful city. I hope this gave you guys some ideas of what to eat if you come to Berlin. Normally, if you come to Berlin, it's probably only like two to three days, so definitely, definitely, definitely try to add these spots into our itinerary. Oh, and um, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave some love in the comments below. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's been watching so far. And with that, That is some sweet, sweet filling. Yep, it tastes like a glazed donut and you slap some jam on it. There you go, you guys. Have a great day. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in our next city in Germany. Actually, 